Yeah. Really? I hate Taylor Swift. Why? I wonder. I didn't know people dislike Taylor. Why do people? She's the phony jabroni. You know oh. how in the one episode we're like, "You're a phony." It's like Bruno Mars phony. Or is it yeah, like pretty much? She's ripping off songs. I mean, no, but she's ripping off her emotions. Oh, she, she dates people. dudes and then kicks them to the curb and then she writes songs about them. Yeah, because I do feel like she is going kind of deep with uh the, the, Kelsey situation. What's crazy is she's kind of like uh people don't call her out. Oh, she's probably getting her privilege, but um she's basically like a uh, people always shark trash about uh what's his name or what's her name um selena gomez no not selena gomez uh, michael b jordan's ex uh lori, lori harvey. harvey people always talk about lori harvey how she had like you know 18 boyfriends in like three years mm -hmm. but then you know taylor swift does the same thing and she writes a song about each one and they really don't get on her for that. She actually makes money on each time she gets broken up. She dated like Jake Gyllenhaal, all these other famous dudes. And I honestly don't see the the allure of uh of Taylor Swift. Like I mean, she's I basically like Mary J. Blige and all them R and B singers. But the country, well, well like, she tried to do country, and the country people don't accept her. So she kind of did like she does pop. It like in the country pop. She does it like in she, the pop country way. She, yeah, she just kind of does pop country or pop music. Uh, and uh, she's, you know, kind of had, like, young girl fans her whole career. And, uh, I, I mean, I guess there's some older girls. How old is, how old is Taylor Swift? She's, like, 32. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I think Travis Kelsey was dating her, and I was like, isn't she, like, 20? And he's, like, 30-something? And it's like, no, like, she's 32 and he's 32. They're both 32. That is crazy. But if you didn't know, since she's uh, now on the magazine of Times, she's also sharing some details in it. So in the magazine and on the uh, on the Internet, she's saying Taylor Swift says in 2016, the drama with Kanye West and Kim Kardashian almost felt like a career death that took me down to physical to a physical physically to a place I never been before. Damn. We have audio here. Play the audio. Taylor Swift is calling out Kim Kardashian for the role she played Kimmy. in that infamous Kanye West phone call. In her Time Person of the Year interview, Taylor did not mince her words, saying, You have no. a fully manufactured frame job in an illegally recorded phone call, which Kim Kardashian edited and then put out to say to everyone that I was a liar. That took me down psychologically to a place I've never been before. I moved to a foreign country. I didn't leave a rental house for a year. I was afraid to get on phone calls. I that pushed man, away most lying? people in my life because I didn't trust anyone anymore. I went down really, really hard. She went on to say that in the moment, she thought the scandal was going to be the end of her music career, saying, Make no mistake, my career was taken away from me. Later in the interview, when talking about Scooter Braun buying her masters, she said, I've also learned there's no point in actively trying to quote unquote defeat your enemies. Trash takes itself out every single time. <laughs> Thanks. But I mean, if you didn't. <laughs> horrible. But if you didn't know, she. Um... She's talking about the whole uh, Kardashian situation with Kanye West. Kanye West dropped the song well, Famous, well, where he said, that I made you famous, Taylor Swift, for the whole situation. She and said that she didn't approve of the song, and he's like, what do you mean you didn't approve it to you? Uh, like, I talked to you before I put it out, and mm -hmm. you said you were fine with it. And then Kim K released the song because she was tired of people of attacking Kanye, saying that he attacked her out of nowhere. The video? And then she's like, she knew about it. So you and then she's going back. And saying that the video was edited, but at the end of the day, she still knew there's a longer version of the conversation. But at the end of the day, the core information is still the same that she knew about what was going on and said that she was fine with it. So I don't understand why she said it doesn't change anything. And, you know, so. Well, I mean, maybe she has a part in the, uh, in the audio where she says, no, don't drop that. That's, I didn't hear any of that. I mean, Even of course, you, my... the audio part that you would, I wouldn't part the no part. I only part the, uh, put the parts where it says, yes, 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 and positive things. Yeah, I don't know. But it just seems like she always tries to play the victim, even though that she's like dating and dumping all these dudes and using uh, her emotional experience to make profit off by she's making, writing songs about facts, it. Facts, the R&B thing. But, so, I mean, I don't know. She's just not my cup of tea. I know there's a lot of Swifties out there. I'm sorry. I'm not a Swiftie. I'm an anti Swifty true and then with this whole situation i just feel like i mean i feel like her if somebody recorded me and put it out 
I mean, I had somebody. Okay, so I had somebody. So re- yeah, I mean, that's also kind of a snitch thing to do is to record a conversation. Have you ever, been, on have, speaker. Have you ever been recorded a conversation before? No, but I mean, I think probably back in the day you had someone listen on it when they had like the phone on mute, mute but they were like connected and listening to it. That's that backstabbing ish. You can't trust people like that. I mean, and with this whole situation, I see a lot of people. Who are, them, I don't, let me not get it mistaken. I don't like really Kanye either. I'm not the biggest fan of Kanye. He's kind of crazy. Uh-huh. And I also kind of hate the Kardashians. So don't get it twisted like I'm a, a some kind of Kardashian lover. Uh, I, I hate all of them at the end of the day. Just so that's they all cloud chases in some some way, shape, form, or fashion. Cloud chases. I just wonder how Ray J hit it first. I just wonder how this is gonna end with her and Travis Kelsey because it's gonna end. You know, she's gonna dump Travis Kelsey and then she's gonna upgrade her game and go to Travis Scott. I can see it now. I have been seeing a lot of Travis Scott in the news, but and then she's gonna dump Travis Scott for Tyga and get pregnant. Why not Wiz? Not Wiz gonna. Not Tyga, not Whiskey. Tyga no, be back no, in a no, lot no. of... And then Tyga's going to cheat on her, and she's going to dump Tyga, and then she's going to get pregnant as a rebound with Busta Rhymes. See, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're going too far off. You're going too far off. She's going to go with Bad Bunny. Just despite the Kardashian family. Just despite the Kardashian family. You, you, got know. It. you got it, Coast. That's it. You cracked the code. That's the, that's the way of life. You're, everybody's born in life. That's the, To be disrespectful. To the Kardashians. That's what you're, that's everybody's purpose in life. Enough, just, enough of Taylor Swift. If you listen to Taylor Swift, you're you're not cool, basically. You're square. And uh, if you're listening to any girl groups, listen to XG. They're way better than Taylor Swift any day. Mariah Carey is way better than Taylor Swift. Christina Aguilera is way better than Taylor Swift. Um, I did like Britney Spears' Toxic, but that's about it. That was a good song. I cannot uh, lie. All right, well, but enough about all that, man. We coming to the end of the show. 